In this first lesson, we're going to address two major questions. The first question is, just how important is the Holy Spirit to the life and ministry of the church? The second question is, what is the Spirit doing in the world today? In answering the first question, let me share a true story about a friend of mine. He is one of the most mechanically gifted persons I have ever met. He can fix anything. So you can imagine his frustration when after four hours of work on his ATV, he still couldn't get it to start. He changed the plugs. He changed the points. He changed the condenser. He changed about everything that could be changed, but still nothing. Then he thought, huh, this gas is old from last year. What I'm going to do is I'm going to siphon out this old gas and I'm going to put fresh gas in it and it's going to start. And when he opened up the gas cap and looked in, the, the tank was empty. What's the point? Just as fuel is absolutely necessary to run an engine, so too is the spirit absolutely necessary for, for life and ministry in the church. Allow me to give you 12 works of the Holy Spirit that prove this point. Point number one. The Spirit brings about the virgin birth and the incarnation of the Messiah. The very first work of God's redemptive plan was through the Holy Spirit. Number two, the Spirit-anointed Christ realizes the kingdom of God throughout His ministry. Jesus doesn't do anything for the kingdom until the Spirit comes upon Him at baptism. But once the Spirit does, Jesus launches a relentless campaign against disease, death, and the devil. Point number three, the Spirit raises Jesus from the dead and glorifies Him as the exalted Christ. Hey, Lori here. You're watching content provided by DOE1. Whether you are at the beginning of your ministry or seasoned, DOE1 is the premier location for all things ministry. Check us out at doe1.org. Now let's get back to your video. Point number four, Jesus promises to send the Comforter, the precious gift of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. Point number five, the Spirit brings about regeneration and adoption into the family of God. Point number six, the Spirit-empowered and gifted church realizes the kingdom in the here and now. Point number seven, the Spirit intercedes for us even when we don't know what to pray. Point number eight, the Spirit imparts the values and will of the Father so believers might walk in the Spirit. Point number nine, this walk evidences the fruit of the Spirit. Point number ten, the same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead will also raise us from the dead. Point number eleven, through the Spirit we will receive new glorified bodies and we will be like Him. And finally, Point number 12, the Spirit-initiated glorification of believers ushers in the new creation and marks the reversal of the fall. So without the Holy Spirit, there is no Messiah, there is no salvation, and there is no hope in the world. There's so much more that the Spirit does in the life and ministry of the church. Yet, let's move on to the second question. What is the Spirit doing in the world today? In answer... Let it be said that the Pentecostal charismatic movement is growing at an astounding rate, especially in the global south. The spirit is moving so much that some church growth experts describe the Pentecostal charismatic movement as the fastest growing religious phenomenon in world religious history. If you know anything about church history, that's quite a statement. The fastest growing religious phenomenon and world religious history. Here are some statistics. Of the Protestants surveyed in nearly 20 nations in Central and South America, every nation but one reported being over 50% Pentecostal. Brazil, Panama, and Nicaragua are 80% Pentecostal. Nearly 60% of the Catholics in Brazil, the most populous Catholic country in South America, self-identify as charismatic. Charismatic Catholics in Panama number over 70 percent. Beginning with the 1970s, the Christian population in Africa has increased five-fold. 
The majority of these Christians say that they are Pentecostal or Charismatic. Some Pentecostal churches in Nigeria Nigeria seat over 100,000 in a service. That's not the number of members, that's the number in a single service. So right now there are over 670 million Pentecostals and Charismatics worldwide with 40 to 70,000 new members being added every day. Listen, when you wake up in the morning and then by the time you go to sleep at night, there will be 40 to 70,000 more Pentecostals and Charismatics in the world right now. They are growing so fast that a figure is obsolete as soon as it is reported. Right now, one in four Christians in the world are Pentecostal or Charismatic. By 2050, one in three Christians are going to be Pentecostal or Charismatic. The Pew Forum, this is a secular social scientific analysis of global trends in religion reported that the Christian faith is well on its way to becoming Pentecostalized. I like that. What a great, great report. Our conclusion consists of two major points. There is no Christian faith or discipleship without the Holy Spirit. And the second point is the supernatural work of the Holy Spirit is very relevant to real life the world over. That's why we're studying about the Holy Spirit. In the next few videos, we're going to briefly address the indispensable role of the Holy Spirit in discipleship. Oh, and before we go, if things aren't going as well as they should in life and ministry, check the gas tank. Make sure that the reservoir of your heart is full to overflowing with the presence and power of the Holy Spirit. Hey, Lori here. If you like what you were watching, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to receive notifications when new content goes live. You can find content like this on DOE1, the premier location for all things ministry. See you on the next video.